So I just used some different neutrals and this gen blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and it was a little bit of a hodgepodge week, but just overall kind of a neutral week. But I did have one specific look, this look right I'm, that I'm wearing right now, that I really, really loved this week. So I wanna go over the specific products that I used to do this look, and I did film a tutorial for you guys. So at some point, there will be a tutorial up on this look. I have a lot of videos that I need to put up, want to put up, want to film, need to film, blah, 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 blah. Just lots of videos going on right now, but just know at some point you will see this tutorial on this look. But I'm gonna go over what I used to do it today. So yeah, I don't know why I'm doing a lot of this, but let's get to the favorites. Holy moly, I don't know what was different about this week, but I decided to paint my nails. I mean, that's a miracle. It has been forever since I've painted my nails. So I've got on Zoya's um, Leslie, and then I have on Essence I Love Trends in 05 Pure Soul. So this is just kind of like a light creamy color, and then Leslie is a really pretty like duochrome light lavender with like purple, blue, pink sort of micro shimmer in it. It's really, really pretty. It has a nice kind of like duochrome look to it. And I feel like it's pretty forgiving. Like when it starts to chip a little bit, like this finger is chipping a little bit, you can't see it quite as much because I feel like it's got that dimension going on. So it sort of like hides things, which is always good for me because I'm not very good at painting my nails and they chip quickly. For eyes, before I get into this specific makeup look, I did wear this shadow a couple of times this week and really, really loved it. This is one of my Makeup Geek shadows. This is in Starry Eyed. It's one of her foils. So these are my foiled shadows here. They're so pretty. This one, I know that sometimes like these have mixed reviews, like people say that they crease on them. And I could see that because they are super like buttery and have this really nice buttery texture, but I don't find that they crease on me. I just prep my eyes really well. Like I always wear a primer. Um, yeah, so as long as I like prime my eyes, I'm good with them. But I feel like because they have that like buttery texture, they just build on themselves ridiculously well so it makes them super metallic and just really intense so that is that one starry-eyed oh my gosh that is so pretty and metallic I love it so I did wear it by itself I foiled it one day used the MAC fix plus with it really doesn't even need that but I did it one day and it just made like a really bright beautiful eye look like you can use pretty much any neutral with something like this I mean this is a super neutral um, sort of a shadow so I just used some different neutrals and this gen blah, 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 blah. then I just popped this on my lid and it just gave this brightness which I love and then for this makeup look I broke out my modern renaissance palette again because I love this thing so much this quality is just incredible. I do have a whole video on this palette if you want to see swatches, if you want to see another look with it. It's just amazing. So, so good. But really all of the looks that I had been doing with this palette were more warm toned, really kind of like rusty or sort of like burgundy looking. And I was feeling like kind of playing with it in a different way and like trying to create just a different sort of a look. So I went for more of the slightly more cool toned shadows. So like Vermeer, Buen, Buen Fresco, Cypress Umber, and then I do have a little bit of burnt um, orange just to kind of like balance things a little bit. So these are the shadows that I'm gonna be using in this makeup look when I have that tutorial up. But it's just like a, a sort of different kind of look for this palette, I feel like. I mean, well different for me because I had been grabbing for more of the warm tones. I'm sure that people have been grabbing for these, but for me personally, I kept grabbing for the warm tones. So I switched it up this week and kind of went for these sort of shadows. And I really, really like how it all came together. These mattes just blend amazingly. They like blend themselves. They wear so well throughout the day. Like I find that at the end of the day, these shadows seem like they last better than most any other shadow that I've ever tried. So 
the quality is just bar none. It's so good. And I do like that uh, something else I like about this look is I didn't use any kind of color on my lower lash line, no kind of shadow or liner. I just have a little bit of mascara. So it gives this kind of like lighter, brighter sort of a look. Like an airy, like an airy sort of a vibe to the look and I really like it. For blush this week, I pretty much went really neutral. So first off, I wore my e.l.f. blush in Candid Coral. And for me, I don't know if it's just like the way I interpret the word coral, but I think of coral as brighter. And this is really like a very neutral nude, sort of a warm color. So it's, it's, it is a coral, but it's more nude to me. So, I don't know what I would name this, so it's not like I really have a suggestion, but all that to say is that it's a very neutral sort of a peachy color, um, but it does have a little bit of like, just the tiniest little bit of a satin shift to it. I see it more honestly in the pan than I do in a swatch, but it's just really pretty. So if you're looking for a neutral color that is more on the warm side, kind of right, right in between a coral and a nude, I think you'd really like this one. And it is a blush that when you just apply a little bit, it's very kind of subdued. It's not overpowering. It's difficult to mess up because um, it's not like crazy pigment, but it does build on itself really nicely. So you can get just a really pretty warm, neutral sort of a look on your cheeks. And it's like three bucks, which is even better. I always love it when something's a nice product and it's affordable. It's like doubly as amazing. I feel like I talk about Benefits Rockateur all the time. I feel like I just recently mentioned this at some point, but this is what I wore with this makeup look and this is what you'll see in the tutorial. So that's why I'm showing it to you and that's why I'm telling you about it again because I like it and that's what I'm wearing and that's what I wore. And if you don't have this blush, I would say this is one higher end blush that is worth the investment because it is so pretty. It just applies beautifully. It blends into the skin beautifully. It is a blush color that will go with everything. So I think you will definitely like get your money's worth out of it. I love this blush. It is, it's so pretty. And I've said this a million times, this is not new information, but just to reiterate again, this is an awesome blush. So yeah, it's kind of like a, it's a neutral, um, it's kind of in the middle of a lot of different colors. So it's got a little bit of warmth to it, a little bit of a terracotta vibe to it, a little bit of a mauve vibe to it, neutral, nude. Well, it's more on the mauve, warm mauve side than a nude, but it's still very neutral. It's beautiful. I love it. Gives life to your face, but still goes really well with a ton of different makeup looks. So yeah, if you've been on the fence about Rockateur, yes. I love it. I don't think you'd be disappointed in it because it's amazing. For lips this week, I did a lip swatch video. So these little juicy shakers from Lancome are like lifesavers to me when I do lip swatch videos. They are just so hydrating. They feel amazing on my lips. Honestly, I should add this in as a favorite too. Let me just do that. The, I'm spilling everything. The It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. This is another lifesaver when I'm doing lip swatch videos. This just like removes the lip products, makeup or whatever in general, just all the makeup situation. It removes it without stripping everything out of your skin, your lips, whatever you're removing makeup from. It's awesome. So this is a little added favorite in there, but this is another favorite too, because it just is so hydrating on the lips and they're just fun. I mean, this one is in piece of cake, but I love them all. I think I have three of them. I have a melon one, a raspberry one, and then this one. They're just fun. Like you just open the little cap and you get some of the product in there and then you can kind of like dab it on your lips. They smell incredible. They all smell so good and match their names. And you just kind of like shake them up to get everything like mixed together. So they're a fun time to use. They just make me happy. I think they're cute. People look at me a little bit weird when I take them out of my purse and I'm like shaking something and then getting the little dropper and dabbing my lips. They're kind of like, what's going on? But <laughs> I think they're just fun, but they also are just super hydrating. So they feel really comfortable on the lips. They don't give a ton of color, so I don't use them for that. It's more just, it gives a little bit of color, but it's more for the hydration 
and just the experience of using it. So I love these little things. I think they're so fun. And I have a couple of Maybelline favorites and I actually have a Maybelline lipstick semi fooey and there's a reason it's a semi fooey So first off, I wore one of my creamy mattes. This is in Daringly Nude. I don't think I just recently mentioned this. If I have, I'm sorry. My mind is all over the place. Just sometimes I have trouble like compartmentalizing, compartmentalizing information, you know, like it's hard sometimes to switch from like regular work and then into YouTube stuff. And you guys know I work multiple jobs. So sometimes my brain gets confused. So if I just mentioned this, I apologize, but I love it. And I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately too. So I'm sorry about that as well, <laughs> that I'm repeating myself. But anyway, Daringly Nude is a beautiful nude. It's perfect. Like it is a perfect nude. And I think the day that I wore this, I was wearing a white shirt. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. Which gives like a really fresh sort of a look, you know, like a really pretty nude. That's not a concealer nude. It still has some good color to it, but then also like pairing it with a white shirt. It just was a very kind of like fresh sort of a look. Love it so much. It's pigmented. It's opaque. I love these. I said that a bajillion times too. They're amazing. They really just are great lipsticks. I would love them and be obsessed with them if they were $22. But the fact that they are like $5.50 from Walmart or Target makes them even more incredible. They are so good. Then what I've got on my list right now, this really neat, cool toned, zombie looking sort of lip color. I think it's so fun. This is Maybelline's Gone Grage. This is one of the Loaded Bolds and that name pretty much like matches it dead on. I mean, it is a gray toned beige color. It's so cool. And I mean, this straight up looks like something you would find in Sephora or Ulta. Just a really like trendy sort of a color. So, I mean, you don't have to spend a lot to go trendy with your makeup. These are like $5.50 too. So I always get them at Target or Walmart because they're cheapest there, but yeah. It's amazing. It's so cool. And it is like right in between a gray and a beige sort of color. So there's not really a lot more that I can say about it, you know, to describe the color. It is that gray, but it has just enough of a neutral tone to it to make it wearable. So I think it is really, really pretty, but edgy as well. And these are creamy and amazing too. So if you want to do some trendy colors, check out the Loaded Bolds because they have a lot of really neat shades in this line. And then my kind of semi fooey this week is one of the Rebel Blooms from Maybelline. This is in Peach Poppy. And honestly, I'm calling it a semi fooey because a lot of the reason it was a fooey was like the condition of my lips. I did a lip swatch video and even using those two products that really, really save my lips, they still get dry. Not nearly as dry as if I don't use them, but they do still get dry. It just happens, especially if you're swatching liquid lipsticks that takes a toll on your lips. So my lips were really dry the day that I tried to wear this. And this lipstick is just not forgiving at all, at all, at all. It's a light peach and it's glossy and it's kind of a little bit patchy. So when you have all those things working together, it just clings to every dry patch. So it really accentuated the dryness of my lips. So I don't know. I mean, I do think this is pretty. I like it, but it's not one of my favorites from Maybelline. And especially when my lips are dry, this is one that I just need to totally avoid. So I would say if you have some dry lips, I would not pull out this lipstick because it's not forgiving at all. I would honestly pull out one of the creamy mattes. You wouldn't think a matte lipstick would be a better option, but for me, those felt more comfortable and did not accentuate the dry patches or the loaded bolds too. So. I would go with something like that over this one because this was just not forgiving at all. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.